Hello everyone, this is TCB ASMR here. In this video, I'll be discussing yesterday's MLB games. Didn't have too many yesterday, just uh, just 10. But the first game we had was the Cubs versus the Nationals. Nationals won this one 4-3. They're not 13-18, and 18. Cubs are 15-16. and 16. Walk off for Alex Call. He hit another one this year, but I can't remember. Patrick Corbin finally has a good start. He goes seven innings, only gives up two runs, strikes out six. Assad, whoever that is for the Cubs, he goes five innings scoreless. And Thomas goes one for three with a homer and three RBIs. Like I said, Call, he walked it off with a home run. This is his third, of, or that was his third of the year. Thomas, his second. We talked about Patrick Corbin. For the Cubs, Trey Mancini hit his third double, and Seiya Suzuki also hit his third double. Jameson Tyon did not pitch well in the three innings that he pitched. Then we had the Mets losing to the Tigers. I think the Tigers, yeah, they swept the Mets because we had the doubleheader yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but the day before uh, yesterday. Tigers won this one 2-0. to zero. Mets are now down to 500. Tigers are 13-17. and 17. Erod with another great performance. Um, eight innings scoreless with nine strikeouts against this Mets lineup. It's a really, really great performance. Um, Riley Green, he went two for four with the homer RBI run and a stolen base. And Javi Baez went one for three with a home run hit by pitch, RBI, and a run. For the Mets, no extra base hits as they only got three hits in the game. Justin Berlander didn't pitch bad in his first uh, first start of the season, but offense could not help him out to not get the L. Ibanez hit his first double, uh, and I'm pretty sure Baez, oh no, they, did they go back? No, they didn't go back to back, okay. Uh, but this is Riley Green's third home run of the year, Baez his second. Um, we talked about Eduardo Rodriguez. Not looking good for the Mets. Then we had the Pirates versus the Rays. Rays complete the sweep of the Pirates, 26 and 6 now. Uh, Pirates still 20 and 12. Zach Eflin went seven innings scoreless with 10 strikeouts. Again, I don't know how the hell the Rays get these pitchers. Um, I mean, but apparently this is the largest contract, free agent contract anyway, uh, that the Rays have signed a player to in history. But man, this dude just absolutely shoved against us. Uh, Yandy Diaz went two for four with the home run, double RBI and a run, and Carlos Santana went two for four with the two doubles, two RBIs. For the Pirates, as I mentioned just now, um, Carlos Santana hit two doubles. That brings him to 11 on the year, but those were the only extra base hits for the Pirates. Velasco has started out the game, didn't do too bad. Um, Hernandez didn't do great. Underwood, Holderman, I mean, Nobody did horrible, but couldn't get enough offense going to uh, really get into this game and win this game because uh, our last, or both of our runs came in the top of the ninth. So uh, for the Rays, Yandy Diaz hit his fifth double. Isaac Paredes hit his sixth. Taylor Walls hit his fifth homer. And Randy Orozarena hit his eighth. Uh, Yandy Diaz also hit his eighth. Talked about Zach Eflin and the rest of the bullpen got it done. And then we had another Cardinals loss. Um, and they are just really struggling. Angels are now 18 and 14. Uh, won this game 11 to 7. Cardinals are 10 and 22. Um, this game did end in, or not, this game didn't end in extra innings. I don't know why I thought that. Um, what I meant to say was that the Angels scored. 10 runs in two innings, as this headline said. Uh, Lu Luis Renifo, I think that's his name. I think that's his first name, Luis. He went three for four with the home run, a double, four RBIs and two runs. Tommy Edmond went two for four with a home run, three RBIs, two runs. Um, Wilson Contreras went two for four with two doubles, a walk, two RBIs and a run. Um, and yeah, I mean, the Cardinals just cannot get a W. Another really bad performance from Jack Flaherty. He's now two and four. He went two and a third innings, gave up, or gave up 10 runs.
he's only struck out three. So he's just been getting knocked around. Contreras, as I said, hit two doubles. He now has nine on the season, and Goldschmidt, with his one double, has 12. Tommy Edmond hit his fifth home run of the year. But yeah, the Cardinals' offense finally shows up, and uh, that's what happens. <laughs> the Cardinals' pitching staff lets them down again. But the Angels' Renifo hit his second double and his second home run. Taylor Ward hit his third double, but Angels really killed the, the Cardinals with it. Just singles, they had 16 hits overall. Canning did not pitch well, but still got the W. So, yeah, Angels take this one, and uh, Cardinals continue to struggle. Then another team whose pitching continues to struggle, but their offense is uh, way out, or, yeah, outperforming their pitching by miles, and other teams' uh, offenses is the Orioles, who are 21-10 and now. They win this game against the Royals 13-10. to Royals are 8-24 now. Uh, Furman, not sure who that is, uh, but he went 3-4. for four, Home run, triple, walk, two RBIs, and two runs. Ramon Odias went 2-2 two for two with the double, four RBIs, and two stolen bags. And Todd Frazier went 2-3 for three with two walks, four runs, and a stolen base. And as you can see by the headline, uh, the Orioles rallied back with eight runs they were behind eight runs um, he won four six uh, and then it got to seven and nine and they were down what what is that i don't even know whatever yeah, they were down uh, and uh, they came back so for the royals uh, mj melendez or yeah mj melendez he hit two doubles brings him to seven on the season massey hit a double second of the season and Bobby Wood Jr. hit his fifth. Uh, Garcia hit his first. Furman hit his first triple, his first home run. Salvador Perez hit his sixth home run and Isbell hit his first. Um, pitching wise, Lyles got rocked and uh, our oldest Chapman actually took the loss because they were winning um, and then he gave up two runs in only a third of an inning. He only was able to get one out. Oh, hold on. Not so fast. Whoop. Where are we going now? That's today's scores. So he might see. Well, I mean, you guys will know what's going on in today's scores. But, um, I mean, if you watch MLB, then you'll see. Um, or if you keep up with the daily. Anyways, uh, what I was meaning to do was to go over to the Orioles. Cedric Mullins hit his fifth double. Mount Castle his ninth. And Ramon Arias his seventh. Anthony Santander hit his third, and Gunnar Henderson also hit his third. Pitching for the Orioles was Grayson Rodriguez. He got absolutely rocked. Uh, so not great for the rookie, but I'm sure he'll bounce back. Then we had the Twins versus the White Sox. Uh, Twins won this one 7-3. They're now 18-14 and 14 White Sox. Unfortunately, uh, their little win streak ends, and they're 10-22 and 22 now. Twins scored five runs in the top of the 12th to win this one. Lucas Giolito actually pitched well in this one, though. Uh, he went seven innings, only gave up one run, struck out seven. Pablo Lopez, who was struggling in uh, his last two starts, I think, he went seven innings, only gave up two runs, struck out eight. Eloy Jimenez went three for five with a home run, walk, and three RBIs. So good day for Eloy. Uh, yeah, they dropped the ball in the series finale, but they did still win this series, so that's great. Um, for the White Sox, Luis Robert Jr. hit his seventh double, Hanser Alberto hit his first, and Eloy Jimenez hit his fourth. Talked about uh, Lucas Giolito, pitched well. Alex Colome gave up three runs, and then Peralta gave up two to blow this game for the White Sox. For the Twins, Gordon hit his third double, Carlos Correa his fourth homer, and Byron Buxton his eighth. And then Pablo Lopez only, as we said, gave up two runs, and uh, Moran gave up one right at the end. And then we had the Brewers versus the Rockies. The Rockies won this one 9-6. to six. They're now 12-20. and 20. Brewers are 18-13. and 13. Christian Yelich, he went 3-5 for five with a homer and two RBIs. Brian Anderson, he went 3-4 for four with a triple. And Tovar went one for three 
with a double hit by pitch and two RBIs. <laughs> Apparently Wade Miley just wants to get out of out of Denver, which is kind of funny. Uh, but Brian Anderson, he hit his first triple. Yelich his fourth home run. Rowdy Teles his ninth home run. And I think this is tie. I don't know what Taylor that is, but he also hit his first home run. Uh, Wade Miley was the starter, and I could see kind of why he said that. Didn't have his best game. Uh, didn't have his best start in this one, so I can see why he wants to get out of Denver. For the Rockies, um, Chris Bryant, he hit his fifth double. Tovar, his seventh. Mike Moustakas, his fifth. Uh, those were the only extra base hits. Seabold did not pitch too bad. But the offense had the pitching staffs back in this one. So Rockies still get the W. Then we had the two green teams playing off against each other in the AL West. Mariners win this one 5-3. to three. They're now 15 and 16, almost at 500. Athletics are 6 and 26. Taylor Trammell, he goes one for two with the homer walk, three RBIs. Blade, JJ Blade, who was just traded just last year, I want to say, from the Marlins. He goes two for four with the homer and an RBI. And George Kirby, he goes seven innings, only gives up three earned runs. And I guess. J.J. Blade rediscovered his swing with the foam ball routine, so good for him. He had his first big league home run, I'm pretty sure. Ruchinski, though, for the Athletics, did not pitch well. Estuary Ruiz hit his first triple. J.J. Blade, as I said, his first home run. And again, I believe that is his first home run in the big, so congratulations to him. Not that he'll be watching this video, but uh, anyways, for the Mariners, Teoscar Hernandez hit his fifth double. Jared Kelnick his ninth. Uh, Taylor Trammell hit his second homer. And we talked about George Kirby. Paul Seawald gets his ninth save of the year. Uh, then we had the Braves versus the Marlins. Braves won this one 6-3. to three. Marlins are now at 500. Still second in the East, though, uh, because the Mets are also at 500. Braves are now 22-10. Jorge Soler goes 3 for 5 with the homer, double, and 3 RBIs. Ozuna from the Braves looks like he's starting to heat up. 1 for 4 with a homer, walk, and an RBI. And John Bertie went 3 for 5 with a run and a stolen base. For the Marlins, uh, Soler hit his ninth double and his 6th homer. So only extra base hits came from him. Jesus Lazardo did not have the best start, gave up 4 runs. Um, only 3 earned, but... Still not amazing. And the bullpen, A.J. Puck specifically, a former Oakland Athletic or Las Vegas Athletics, whatever they're becoming, he gave up two runs and only two-thirds of an inning. For the Braves, Sean Murphy hit his eighth double. Eddie Rosario his fifth and Ozzy Albies his seventh. Again, Ozuna from the Braves seems to be getting a little hot. He hit his fifth and Olsen hit his ninth home run of the year. Dodd, who was the Braves' 10th prospect, uh, or uh, maybe he's number 10 in the MLB, but uh, he's a prospect, high, highly ranked prospect anyways. Uh, he had a pretty good start, or a pretty decent start, I'll say. Technically, it counts as a quality start. Uh, six innings, did give up eight hits, but only three runs. Didn't really have that many strikeouts, did give up a home run, but, uh, you know, he helped them get the win, so. He did all right. Last but not least, we had the Red Sox versus the Blue Jays. Red Sox uh, complete the sweep, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they win this one 11 to 5, 19 to or 19 and 14 now for the Red Sox. Blue Jays are 18 and 14, so the Red Sox have jumped the Blue Jays in the division. Um, Rafael Devers, he went three for five with a home run, double, and four RBIs. Yoshida went 3 for 5 with a homer, 3 RBIs. And Justin Turner went 3 for 5 with an RBI, 2 runs, and a stolen base. Apparently, the top prospect for the Blue Jays um, exits in a game for the Miners, which is not good. Uh, yeah, what's next for Tiedemann and Parker and other Toronto top prospects, I guess, because they might need to be called up because the Blue Jays are struggling right now. Apparently, Yoshida changed his stance and been working so that's definitely interesting 
For the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette hit his sixth double. Vlad Guerrero Jr. his seventh. Also, Vlad Guerrero Jr. hit his seventh home run. Kevin Gossman did not have a good start in this one, contrary to his last start against the Mariners. He got absolutely shelled in this one. And so did Pop, but the rest of the bullpen did just fine. For the Red Sox, Devers hit his eighth double. Tapia hit his second. Yoshida hit his sixth home run, and Devers hit his 11th. So Devers climbing up in that home run leaderboard. Brian Bello had a pretty decent start. Only two earned runs in five innings, uh, but did have four runs overall, so not great. Uh, but not exactly his fault, as the Red Sox did have an error. So that was the last uh, game of yesterday's slate. Let me know what you thought about these games, if you watched any of them. A couple of teams struggling, let me know what you think about that or anything else you have to say about the MLB 2023 season so far, the 2023 MLB season so far. As always, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, like, comment, and subscribe. It is very much appreciated if you do. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.